Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at Musashi from Kantai Collection. This figure is from Bandai and she belongs to the Armored Girls Project figure line. This is what her box looks like. Here we have her name, her fancy golden name and what the figure looks like itself. The box looks great, Kantai Collection logo is over there, it looks gorgeous. The box looks really luxurious with the gold and the black and this is what it looks from the back. We can see different types of poses. She comes with three other faces. This is one of the sides. And that's what her box pretty much looks like. It's pretty big. On this side we see what she looks like in her damaged pose. And on the other side we see a very cool pose with her glasses up. And now it's time to take her out of the box. There we go. And this is what she looks like in her blister. If it stands, it stands. Here we see her heavy armament. Here's a part to connect these parts and another connector for this, I think, stands for the base. Some hands, a few heads the light armament version, the figure, and some more parts for the stand on the left then right side. And on the back we have the manual and I think we probably need it because there are a lot of parts with this figure and it looks slightly difficult. It's a close-up of the parts so you can see what it looks like. It looks pretty good to me. There are a lot of parts. The figure looks great. Here she is out of the box. She can stand on her own, which is pretty awesome. Her paint job looks pretty good and details are very great. I think she is a great purchase. Very happy with her so far. Even from up close, she looks super amazing. The jacket, the sculpt of the jacket is a feast for my eyes. I really like the design of the jacket and they sculpted it very well. Let's take a closer look at her hair. It looks really good. The paint job looks very good. No smudges on her face. This is her body. And her shoes. And then from the back again, her amazing jacket, the hair sculpt from the back. She looks really good overall. Here are her glasses. We want to take a look at her faces, so we put the glasses in these holes of her second hair part. And this is her default face. It's just like an, a chill looking face. And here we have her slightly embarrassed face. You can see it, but she's blushing. A kind of blushing, yes. And this is her damaged face. It looks kind of... It looks a bit pervy. My boyfriend was a bit shocked about this face because he had other thoughts about it. But this is the face she makes when she's heavily damaged in the game. And the next face is her battle spirit face. She totally wants to fight you and she is strong because she is a battleship. These are her hands. Uh, this is a hand holding some munition. Another half open hand next to it. Here we have a gra grabby hands, another pair of grabby looking hands, and open hands and closed hands with probably a hole in the side to hold something. I've put the heavy armament on her and this is what it looks like. She can still stand without a stand even though she's wearing something slightly heavy for her body. This is her stand and that's how you plug it in. And then we have these parts, there we go, we put these in each other, and uh, let's see what will happen next, ta-da! And then you just crack it in and there we go. This is what she looks like with her stand. I'm not a big fan of the arms the stand has, but I'll just have to accept it because it's Bandai's design. Even the jacket is movable because of the stand, so you could pose her like that, otherwise the jacket will be in the way. Now it's time to assemble her heavy armament. You just put this thing in this thing, you just push it real hard, and there you go. These two parts are also part of the stand, you just plug them in like that. 
and there you have her in her other stand for the heavy armament. It looks really good. Her heavy armament looks very detailed. It's sculpted very well. The paint job is done great. There's even shadows on the turrets. The red is very clean. Also, the red has some shadows going on over there. Yeah, it was worth the money. Now we can take a look at the heavy armament articulation. Uh, the turret can go left and right. It can just turn around like that. Also, the smaller turrets are movable. They're slightly difficult to move because they're so tiny, but they can all move. Also, the bigger parts move up and down and it can do a whole circle. <laughs> it can go up and down. It can go sideways and you can make a deformed circle with it like that. It can even move inside and like that. And you can just turn it around like that, but that doesn't look good. So we'll just put it back. Here is another close-up of our heavy armament parts. I just love the turrets, the guns. It looks really good. I'm just showing off this figure to you guys. And here you can see what the armament looks like from the inside. There are a lot of details going on on the inside as well. Time for figure articulation. You can move her hair around like this, all the way up. And she will look like some kind of racing Miku. There we go. Racing Musashi figure. And we can bend her head forward and backwards. Her leg goes pretty far for that skirt. Maybe too far for that skirt. The foot is slightly movable, not too much. And her upper body is very movable as well. And she can even make the split. And we'll have to turn around because I will show the articulation of the jacket. It's slightly movable to both sides, up and down and to the left and to the right. The arms can't move too far because of the jacket. I honestly don't know if I can take the jacket off because I haven't seen it. And this is what she looks like next to Figma Nagato. I honestly think her battleship parts are way more impressive than Nagato's. I really love them both. And this is also the end of the review. I hope you guys liked it. The conclusion is this figure is great. It's really good, but not for the price she goes for, which was 12,000 Japanese yen. I purchased her for half the price. So it was around six and a half thousand yen. And that's what she's really worth. That's my uh, personal opinion about her. I honestly wouldn't have bought her for the expensive price of 12,000 yen because that's how much your skill figure goes for from Guzma Company. And yes, I would throw that kind of money at that figure, but not for this one. If you can get her on sale, she's worth it. <laughs>